Biden may face protest at the polls during the Georgia primary. Some local groups opposed to the Biden administration's support of Israel are urging Democratic voters to leave their ballots blank. Fox News Deidre Dukes is live at the state capitol with more. Deidre. Now, the coalition saying today during a news conference that they do want Georgia Democrats to go to the polls. They say they want them to get their ballot, but instead of voting for President Biden, they say they want them to turn those ballots back, back in blank. They don't want them to cast their ballots for any candidate. They said they, they are out to send a strong message with this decision. We are calling thousands of voters across Georgia every single day to talk to them. We are on a very tight timeline, and so we are all going all in on this. The Georgia group's Leave It Blank primary campaign follows similar efforts in Michigan, where nearly 100,000 Democrats voted uncommitted to President Biden's re-election due to the war in Gaza. It's the president who can fix this problem by demanding a ceasefire. This coalition of local faith leaders, activists, and political organizations is urging Democrats voters to protest the Biden administration's support for Israel by leaving their ballot blank on election day. State Democratic Senator Sheikh Rahman said he understands the group's concerns but worries the impact such efforts could have on the president's chances for re-election come November. But when it comes to November, we all have to come back together to elect uh, whoever the nominee and it looks like right now it will be President uh, Biden. The coalition accuses the president of enabling genocide in Gaza and is urging voters across the state to visit their polling place, request the Democratic primary ballot and submit it without choosing President Biden or any of the other Democratic candidates on March 12th. And Democratic leaders should go to President Biden and say, look, you've got to stop this genocide. You've got to stop this madness because there are voters in Georgia who on principle are not going to vote for you if this violence continues. And Georgia Democratic Party Chair uh, Congresswoman Nakima Williams weighing in saying President Biden has expressed concerns over the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and continues to negotiate a long-term ceasefire to bring stability to the region. She added that Democrats will continue to show up in every corner of every county, reminding voters of how Democrats have delivered for Georgians over the last three years under the leadership of the Biden-Harris administration. At the state capitol, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.